and regret he didn't go in earlier because we're in an imaginary prison before you go in. We don't get credit for it. Also, he would have had a, a bigger impact on the election had he gotten it over with. So he has that regret. We have to understand the Bureau of Prisons is concerned about security of the institution, keeping costs down. They're understaffed at this prison. For these reasons, they don't want any problems, okay? You have Democrats and Republicans, if you agree on few things. They both agree the BOP handled COVID poorly, the Epstein debacle in Columbus. They can just send him to segregation for 120 days. So you can expect some staff to be sympathetic towards him. Certainly as a former Lieutenant in the Navy, veterans will welcome him, but they do not want problems. And if he says things over the phone, via email, of course, phone calls are recorded. Emails are saved. He can call into his podcast from prison, as I did from federal prison in 2008. If anything threatens security of the institution, they say, have a nice day. We're sending you to segregation for 120 days. And either way he wins, whether he's in segregation or he serves his time in the regular uh, compound, either way it benefits and advances his agenda or message. Oh, well, in that case, do you have advice for him for these four months? I would ad advise him to what is success for him. Most people go to prison. They want to lay low, get through it, avoid problems, prove worthy of the love and support of their family. I read where he said, I won't be exercising. I'm not hitting the weights. I'm not getting prison swole. He will be working. Other than sleeping, eating, and doing his prison job, he is going to be advancing his agenda. And my advice would be to, to understand the consequences that follow every decision on the inside. Then as my business partner, Michael Santos, who served 26 years, encouraged me to do own every choice that follows, defend it, but understand his goals may be different than the warden's goals. That much I can tell you.